Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week. And this series is all about business and marketing and growing your brand and business. So for this series, I mean, so for this episode, for this episode, I want to talk about finding your niche because I feel like for a long time there has been this concept or idea where you need to find a niche and you need to stick with that niche and like really hone in on it and become it you know and like mold yourself to this one niche and for me I don't feel like that is something that we need to do because we are multifaceted people we have many many sides to us many interests and so does everyone else so you don't have to just limit yourself to one thing because that's a disservice to you and to other people you know because they may want to see all sides to you and not just one it's literally like just presenting yourself to be this perfect image and then never showing your flaws and it kind of restricts you and limits you from all of the other parts of yourself which are you and you can't suppress them so whilst I do think it's important to hone in on your strengths and on what you're interested in I don't think that has to just be one thing so for me for instance I make music but I also talk about spirituality and metaphysics and those kind of things I also talk about business and marketing and I also talk about relationships and they are different but at the same time they're all a part of me and also I feel like they're all a part of everyone so I don't think it's kind of limiting or restricting a specific audience because it's something that everyone can um, choose whatever part of my content they like you know like somebody might prefer just to watch about relationships whereas somebody else might like all of them and it's very subjective so I don't think we need to restrict or limit ourselves but at the same time I am aware that my um all of those things that I just listed are kind of along the same line like they're all to do with ourselves and our minds and our emotions so they're not completely different like fitness and I don't know technology or something that could be completely different whereas what I just listed of what I do is all about the mind and emotions and things so depending on what you love and what you want to create your brand around I really feel like it's key to create it around who you actually are and what you love and what excites you and things so if for instance you love cooking but you also love home improvement and you also love fitness and all of these other things like I feel like personally it's okay to showcase all of them but the key is in how you do that. So how relatable it is, I think that's more the key rather than what you actually share because we're all multifaceted and lots of people are gonna be interested in all of the different aspects of you, but how you present them, how you show them to people, that's the key into whether it works or whether it doesn't. You know, so you can have a million niches and a million interests, but it's just how you portray them, how you share them with the world, whether you do it in an authentic way or whether you do it in like a inauthentic way, you know? So I think that's the key and that's the difference and where some people kind of mess up is when you try to be something that you're not or like you try to push only one and then you don't feel fulfilled because you're leaving behind all of these other things that you enjoy like I think it's very very subjective and you have to do what's best for you but I just wanted to share this message that you don't have to completely niche down into one thing if that's not who you are but if that is who you are and you have one specific interest that you want to push then you should do that too you know like there's no rule for this there's no one size fits all you have to do what feels good to you and what excites you so if you want to share about two completely different things you should do that but you need to think about how you're going to do that so are you going to do two completely separate youtube channels are you going to put them all on one are you going to have completely separate brands or are you going to have it all as a personal brand and all as you and different parts of you but it's all a part of you <laughs> if that makes sense so yeah I hope this was helpful you just have to think about how you want to portray it and share it with the world and you can't go wrong with that 
Like, there's no wrong answer. You have to do what's authentic to you, what feels right for you. So yes, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the description box below for links to my social media, my music, my merch, and my phone number, because I do send out daily text messages and WhatsApps. And I just send like little thoughts of inspirational, spiritual, motivational thoughts in text and WhatsApp. So if you want to receive those, my number is down below. You can just text me saying yes and I will start sending them to you. So thank you so much for listening and watching. Wait, this is not the podcast, that is Solo Trip. <laughs> so you're not listening, technically you are, but you're still watching, so whatever. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, you're thinking like me Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea Oh, you're thinking like me Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea Oh, yeah, I'm thinking my I'm not thinking like me, my range all white Oh, yeah, I'm thinking my I'm not thinking like me, my range all white